Welcome back. If you've just joined us, we've been examining Nigeria's nuclear policy and prospects. Our guest has been the Director General of the Agency, Professor Lawrence Anikwe Dim. Join us again. One of the recent uh, nuclear summit, world nuclear summit, uh, the, the president made a quite instructive sarcasm when he said, uh, why, why would U.S. and North Korea, why, why do they want to destroy themselves? Because if both of them apply the, the volume of nuclear weapons at their disposal, uh, perhaps survivors would envy the dead. So now, um, that goes a long way in giving an inkling into uh, the nuclear pattern uh, Nigeria has adopted so far, which, which means we've favored that of um, the deployment of nuclear resources towards development and also nuclear safety. Um, how far have we gone in terms of um, adopting uh, nuclear resources for development? What Nigeria is pursuing is not development of any uh, material to uh, fight or for war. Mm. That's not what, that's not the aim of Nigeria. Nigeria is de developing nuclear in the area of peaceful applications. And I have to given you the areas. It covers all areas of human endeavor. This is the focus of Nigeria. Mm. Nigeria is not interested. We are not, I'm not even also interested to talk about any uh, nuclear use for weapon is not our focus in Nigeria. Mm. Our focus in Nigeria is to the use of nuclear for that benefits human being, that benefits Nigerians. That is what we are focusing. We are not talking about the other aspects that some people are uh, saying that you hear on the on TVs, TVs and radios that are sometimes they are not even actually the real situation. So Nigeria is the mandate to Nigerian Atomic Energy Commission and the Nigerian Nuclear Regulatory Authority is for peaceful application of nuclear science and technology. And that is what Nigeria has been pursuing all along since 1977. When you talk of um nuclear for peace and development, the yes. uh, agenda to develop a nuclear power plant comes to mind because that is where Nigerians, many Nigerians would benefit from. Sure. How far have we gone in developing a nuclear power plant? This question uh, is probably uh, a repeat of what we discussed earlier. Um, what happened is that the Nigerian Atomic Energy, Nigerian Atomic Energy Commission that has this mandate has developed, um, is developing a milestone that for nuclear. And they may be in the second phase yeah. of the development now. Let me bring your mind to Agenda 2025. Yes. Uh, that uh, by that year, mm -hmm. uh, this administration promised that Nigeria would have developed a nuclear power plant. So, how would you, in the journey towards that um, nuclear future, where would you rate uh, Nigeria's progress now? Well, Nigeria is uh, making a lot of progress, but if you see the 2025 agenda that you are talking about. If for any country is never cast in any stone, it can come a bit forward and it can go backward. But the NAIC that I'm talking about, the Nigerian Atomic Energy Commission, had promised Nigerians that by 2025, Nigeria will have this. But I can I tell you honestly, it is not cast on any stone. That date could actually uh, change, but they are working steadily towards it. L let's look at um, the, the policy of world powers now, restricting the smaller nations towards um, pursuing their nuclear ambition. Now, how, how, how do you see this as it affects the smaller nations? Nigeria is one of this uh, country uh, that uh, could be affected 
looking at that policy? Let, uh, these are part of what people say everywhere. I have uh, informed you that development of nuclear power has to go in stages. I said that there are about 19 infrastructural elements. I don't think anybody can stop anyone from continuing in this development if you follow the rules. Just like the regulators, Nigerian uh, regulatory authority is a regulator. If somebody is trying to build something and is not following the rules, the Nigerian Nuclear Regulatory Authority is going to stop him. So, but if you follow the rules, if you do what you should do, I don't think, uh, I don't have the premonition that anybody will stop you from completing the program you have. Now, let's look at the role of the Nigerian Nuclear Regulatory Authority now. Um, yeah. How far has it gone in its role to ensure full compliance with the national nuclear policy? Well, as you know, Nigerian Nuclear Regulatory Authority was activated in 2001. Mm. And it has been regulating the practices in the oil and gas, mm. in the hospitals, in the in agriculture in tertiary institutions these are the work we are doing we issue code of practice to them they practice the code that they will use for instance if you have a research reactor as we have one in nigeria you have to issue the codes that they will use and then you follow it up, go for inspection, review what they are doing, and allow them to do or disallow it. In the hospitals, the same, you know that uh, nuclear materials are used to, in, the, in the health sector for diagnosis or for therapeutic, for therapeutic purposes. So we also are there to give them the code of practice and then also go for inspection and then um, license them either to work or not. So this way we have been working in other areas in food preservation where you use these materials to mm. irradiate food and so on and so forth. But now we have a, a, a new challenge, the challenge of supplying the uh, Nigerians with nuclear electricity. This is a very big challenge. Mm. And we are working in tirelessly to be able to deal with this new challenge of regulating nuclear power. It's a new challenge. What, what is the challenge about? Could you tell us uh, oh, the, the yeah, point of contention in this? Yeah, this is a new challenge we have never um, um, uh, regulated this area. It will be new to us. We need to develop the regulations for regulating the different aspects. The site aspect, site. Mm. Mm. Design and construction. You have to design the system. You have to make sure that the system will meet your immediate mm. environment. Siting is one aspect. Mm. Siting of the area that you make sure that the area is adequate for it, you have to, re you have, that mm. is uh, a part of it. And then you have to deal with the operation of the power mm. plant when it comes. These are the challenges. But do, do we have the capacity in, it, in terms of technical know-how to, to regulate uh, nuclear investment in Nigeria? I can say yes. Nigeria has the capacity. We have the capacity. We have the capacity in the sense that um, if you are exposed to what to do, what what is the next? If we train our people properly and expose them to the best uh, in the world, 
they will be able to do it. I give you an example. When the small research reactor was coming, the one that we have in Nigeria, not many people gave us a chance, but we, it has been regulated. Nobody had ever had any accident. In fact, the, the programs we develop for that is being used elsewhere in the world. I think we have the capacity, if given the chance, to do this. So before yeah. we wind down on this conversation now, how do you see Nigeria's journey towards a nuclear future? We're already in the nuclear. What I think you are asking of is the nuclear power program to produce mm. electricity for the generality mm -hmm. of Nigeria. Mm. We are already operating a lot of nuclear facilities in Nigeria. The question appropriate is how are we going to uh, work with the in the area of nuclear power program? Just like others, the journey is steady, but it's for sure we are going to get there with the right incentive, with the right, you know, um, environment. The Director General of the Nigerian Nuclear Regulatory Authority, Professor Lawrence Anike Dim, thank you so much for making our time to be part of this episode of Question Time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Menga. Thank you very much. And that's it on this episode of Question Time from Channels Television. You may also send us your comments on what you feel about Nigeria's nuclear policy on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week on another exciting episode of the show on Channels Television. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashuru. Bye for now.